Ranger is new to me. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Second sample secure. Heading back to you now. Negative, Commander. Head got hot. Head to fuck out. Got three parts on my side. Heading five. Scratch that. Make it four. We'll run in when I can. Out. Just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. Then we find another way. Keep fighting.
Ahead. You copy. I hope he's still alive. He'll make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. Heading for extraction point now. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. You'd never know there was a war on. They'll know soon enough. All those refugees have to go somewhere. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Commander? Stay with me. Run! Get out of there, you can... 
But you can. Promise me. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No. Don't. I'm coming to get you. Don't you dare. They're everywhere. You just get taken, too. I can't just sit here doing nothing. Stay with me. Run. Get out of there. You can make it. No, I can't, Steve. But you can. Promise me. I love you. But I know you. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No. Don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. And then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long on that last Cerberus raid. I'm just glad we made it up in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen a dogfight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak strong suit. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Ah, oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra-light harmonic phased power cells. Mm-hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, it's just so much... padding. Ugh, oh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Kenneth. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. 
Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. I'm glad the Commander didn't forget about us down here. I told you Shepard would come visit. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Greetings, Commander. How's it going?
Commander. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there and needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Messages at your private terminal, Commander.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Yes, Commander. See you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon, once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. <sighs> Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. It's quiet up here.
Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it, I just need to tell him about us. Wait. Us? You and me. He doesn't need to know that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you'd grown apart? I thought I was supposed to be honest with him. You are. But you're just being tactful, not rubbing it in. money off this war. Are you kidding? Elkos Combine sells weapons, armor, and funeral services. If you can arm them and bury them, you never have to fly coach. Isn't that a saying? I don't think so. Well, it should be. One of the universities is supposed to send in more residents to help with all the new refugees. Yeah, they've been promising a... Well, we're luckier than most other hospitals. At least our budget cuts are minimal. Shit, don't remind me. My old job had the emergency ward night staff cut the half before I left. Oh, let me guess. You don't process as many patients as the day shift. I've got the numbers to prove it. Typical administrator who has no clue what's going on in the ward. Out there? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Turian War effort. Commander Shepard. I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. The Council of the Invaders and Reapers. Commander Shepard, please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Commander Shepard, please select the destination. One moment, please.
Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. The Council called the invaders Reapers, the same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't want you to worry. Chances are, I'll never even need to put on armor. I know, and I'm sorry. That's what you get for marrying a civilian. Are you and the girls going to be okay? Combat pay isn't as much as I make at the dig site. We'll be fine. The last thing I want you to worry about is paying the bills. Just don't go too crazy with new dance classes, okay? I was going to drop those. I can't get the girls there on time, and I was probably going to go pick up an extra shift at work. Oh. Well, we'll make it up to the girls when I get back. Dance classes, biotic gymnastics, whatever they want. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth... Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the Elusive Man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. 
I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper force. All the Hades Gamma Cluster ships are arriving at the top of the Hades Here's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I?
the shuttle in position. We'll be back. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... God, what's it been? 20 years ago, when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Froberg. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Attention all students! Cerberus troops have taken control of this station. We have no desire to hurt you. Surrender, and you will not be harmed. Resist, and we can guarantee your safety. No one is going to hurt you. The files have been controlled by. But your sister, she's powerful. You give us trouble. We'll find her. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders in security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. The Alliance has failed you. Earth has fallen. Fighting now only dishonors your family. Your friends.
Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right. Amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh, damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. Face still looks like shit. Okay, 
Right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. You really think we're getting out of here? Well, of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. To work with Commander Shepard? That's pretty badass. Yeah. Wonder why she never mentioned it. How's your aunt? Hot. I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice. You'll be fine. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed-off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, holding that damn biotic bubble up against those bug things. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk them to death. What's so valuable? Well, what's scary? It's like a biotic... Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus was torturing kids on Pragya. These guys are older, and they volunteered, and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. Give them some cover, too. Just time your shots and stay safe. 
All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. Pfft, asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go.
Kaylee, we're in the atrium. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. Okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't watch her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing though. You need to hurry. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. This is a multi-core shield prototype based on cyclonic barrier tech. It'll hold off your guns for hours. Sanders, this is Shepard. I've got some scared students hiding behind a shield prototype. How do we know it isn't just Cerberus rigging the voice? You could test for distortion peaks, Isaac, like I did when you faked a voice print to break curfew. And if that's Octavia's shield, remind her that I docked her half a grade because application of non-concurrent forces overloaded the emitters. Thanks, Sanders. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks.
Looks like schematics for AMP interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look.
Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes! We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey! If that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. from Halibin? It's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. You've got new messages, Commander. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander.
So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. Confirmed. 